um, are very cost effective, and that's vessels and battle cruisers, especially the vessels actually, because you can run out and do irradiate raids and run back. And look at this—he's got tanks everywhere. He's trying to t retake uh, control of this sort of top rightish area, this extra base there, so that he can start mining there again. Um, because otherwise he's screwed. Okay, so he has landed his command center again, back down at the uh, the right side base. Um, but uh, it's really in a precarious position, especially with these uh, devourers around, um, running into some scourge, trying to go after those vessels. But no, the battle cruisers, battle cruisers in mass can really pick off scourge very easily. It's hard to kill battle cruisers with scourge because um, they, they can kill the scourge so fast and, and also it takes so many scourge to kill the battle cruisers that it's really not the most effective thing. He's actually managed to sneak some SCVs out somehow to get to the extra base which is just in the nick of time. He's about done with his mining at the uh, at the top right main. Solki has now mined out the 12 o'clock position. I wonder if I wonder if Iris might be able to almost starve out Solki at this point. Um, because Solki has, has been throwing a lot of money at, at Iris because he could afford to because he had so many bases but all the bases are running out now um, we could see we could see just a big standoff we could see almost we could even see a stalemate theoretically um, Solki's not done yet though he is and here we go see this is the effectiveness of the oh vessel goes down and look at that he even attacks his own hydralis just to um, to kill it off so the radiant didn't do as much damage but uh oh oh battle cruisers are moving away at just the wrong moment they're not gonna be able to kill these overlords so he's gonna have to do battle with the forces in the overlords hydral is dropping out all over the place um, Irradiate's going off on top of the Overlord, which is actually going to do effective damage to the Hydralist. But Plague goes off on the Battle Cruisers. They're going to have to run away. There's more Hydralist there than he anticipated. He might lose the Command Center again. Yes, he's going to lose the Command Center this time. <coughs> and the SCVs get stranded there. They're going to die as well uh, once the Swarm warns off. Oh, Devourer's coming in. Oh! Wow, Devourer's coming in, doing a lot of damage to, well, one Battle Cruiser. And uh, he's getting irradiated in one of them. Um, wow, this is absolutely crazy. Acid spores now on the uh, science vessels. Um, well, it looks like those are going to wear off before too long. But yeah, Iris is really going to have to play it real safe. I mean, this is exactly what you need to do as a Terran in this kind of a situation. It looks like Solki has cleaned up, uh, has attacked and killed off that extra base in the top right, sort of to the left of that main as well. So that is no longer a running uh, issue either. So I don't think Iris is mining at all right now. Um, I don't think he's mining at all. Solki is still mining a little bit at, at the 6 o'clock position. But I don't think he's mining it either. He might be mining at 9. But uh, I don't think either of them are mining right now. We might see just a long standoff with both players not really having enough money to... to this actually reminds me a lot of um, the game game five between um, uh, Firebat Hero and Savior back in the uh, MSL or something like that a while back when Savior had recently been defeated by Bisu, but he was still um, sort of a top player, still a, a viable player at least. And um, Firebat Hero in game five went battle cruises against him and went this had this long standoff where Savior just threw tons of stuff at him, just wasted, and you know, tens of thousands of minerals um, by throwing Ultralisks at his at his siege lines, and it just was not effective at all. Well, it was effective, but it just wasn't enough to break Firebat Hero's base. And eventually, Firebat Hero moved out with a group of um, uh, battle cruisers. And uh, actually, with with medics as well to restore them when they got plagued, which was the the kicker, which was really what clinched the game. But we have a similar situation here where where Iris isn't mining, but he's just oh, irradiates a defiler there. Um, I thought he was going to radiate the drone and stop that base from going down for a minute, which would have been nice. Oh my gosh, Queens as well. Yes, when when you don't have much money, when you're in a standoff like this. Uh, magic using units are the best. Magic uni using units are the are the most effective things you can have um, because they regenerate energy and you can do more damage over time. So um, I remember a game on uh, on uh, oh, oh he needs to run away. Oh battle cruiser is going to take the scourge out. Nicely done protecting those vessels. He's actually got a very solid force there. The BCs can protect those vessels, especially over that ridge from a lot of things. 
Um, if he comes in with Devourers, he can Yamato the Devourers. Um, although I'm not, I don't remember if a Yamato takes out a Devourer in a single hit. I think they might not. Devourers have a ton of hit points. Um, oh, he's going to Parasite those BCs. That's actually a really good move. He's going to be able to see where that BC army goes. Um, I wouldn't be surprised, actually, if, if we did see um, him get... Um, Sorry, if we did see him get some uh, some restoration, that might be nice in general with the plague and the parasites. And oh, what's he gonna do? Oh, ensnare! He ensnares the nice, very nice ensnare. He ensnares the um the battle cruisers, which slows down their rate of fire, so they can't take out the scourge as quickly. And so some scourge do land on um on the battle cruisers. He's gonna try and run in here and uh, take out a couple vessels. He actually takes out a couple vessels. Those vessels thought they were safe uh, on top of that group of turrets, but they were in fact not. Um, wow, so those battle cruisers are, are uh, well actually they didn't seem like they were too much slower with the with the ensnare there. Uh, but Iris has managed to drop some SCVs in that lower location. He's having to build an engineering bay, which may just be to float, um, but it may be because he's lost his engineering bay and cannot build any turrets anymore. Uh, I'm not certain. But um, wow, and look at this. You can see on the minimap, they haven't shown it in a while, but you can see the red on the minimap showing that um, Solki has Iris completely contained on the left side. Oh, actually, no, he has a base there, too. I didn't realize he had a base there as well. Um, Iris is trying to kill that base off, and he uh, doesn't quite have those uh, those tanks on the low ground survive long enough. So, yeah, I'm surprised he's not going up there and, like, Yamato-ing that base. Or, I don't know. But he really does need to take... At this point, Iris does stand a chance of starving out Solki. So, um, so he really would do very well. Oh, Scourge coming in, taking out another BC, it looked like, or maybe two. Vessel's finally coming into support. He's going to be able to take out those Hydras. Hydras are not going to be able to do that much good in, in small numbers against those BCs. Here comes some more Scourge. What he's going to take out? He's going to go for the Vessels. He's going to go for the Battle Cruiser. He takes out a Vessel. Defense Matrix on the BC. I didn't see if any Scourge landed on that BC, but it may have just saved that Battle Cruiser's life. Um... Parasite still detected on top, and he's got actually the Parasited Battle Cruisers off to the side. Which is interesting. He's keeping them out of the way so that um, Soul Key cannot see where his Battlecruiser army is and target them with Scourge. That's why he's able to target these uh, Battlecruisers so effectively, as he can see them, so he can clone them very easily. And look at, oh my gosh, look at those Scourge. Oh, we're going to see some epic Scourge action. He's going to hit all the Battlecruisers at once. He's going to hit all the Battlecruisers at once with um, those Scourge um, if he clones them correctly, which I think he will be able to. Um, some random Zerglings. Here he comes in. Oh, oh man. Oh man. We could see an ins Oh, that would be epic. We see an ensnare running with the devourers and then scourge clone everything. Oh my gosh. He's going to do something here pretty soon. Here comes some scourge. Bunch of scourge coming in. There's the ensnare. The, the ensnare. The devourers come in as well. They've got so many colors of goo on those Valakruises right now. All he needs is a plague on those to make it complete. But the devourers. Oh, the defilers coming in here. Is he going to be able to get a plague off? Gets the plague off. Triple color goo. Yes. Oh, epic triple goo. Oh, man. Awesome. He's going to plague the command center as well. Um, Iris is in deep, deep trouble now. He's been holding things off pretty effectively, but he's just losing his battle cruisers now that were the heart of his, his defense. And oh, manages to get the last hit off with the Hydra's there. Oh man, and there's the finally the medics popping out. Um, he really needed some restoration earlier. Um, well, I guess it wouldn't have helped too much uh, earlier, but yeah, he's gonna be able to restore the the parasited ones, and uh, and that's actually a pretty good move in this situation with all the various goos going down on his units, he needs something to restore them. Um, but yeah, Solki, I'm surprised he hasn't finished things off here. He's taking his sweet time to finish off Iris right now. But Iris, there he goes, there's the restoration. He's repaired them, repairing them as well. Uh, but he's not mining at all. I, what is Iris doing? He's not mining. How is he still in this game? I wonder how much money he has. If he had any money in the bank or something, that's how he's been able to hold out so long. But what happened to all those Scourge? He had like 24, he had like a, a, a survival of 24 Scourge, and he could have taken out those battle cruisers, but he didn't. I don't know why those those battle cruisers were not involved in uh, in that situation. What is going on here? He's building a commsat station in the top left? Okay, that's, that's random. Um... That's really random. I, yeah, I guess he had a command center up there from before. Here comes, oh, oh!